explore a powerful new feature that has been recently introduced in 3D Coat, and that is the ability to have your retopology mesh conform to your voxel mesh when you make large scale edits. If you go to the transform tool, you'll notice in the upper left hand corner you have this little checkbox, update retopo. If you have that checked, what will happen is your retopology mesh, wherever you make edits, the vertices will be bound to the nearest vertice on your voxel mesh and it works quite well so let's go ahead and demonstrate that now if um, if I were to use the pose tool the transform tool or the move tool either one of those three this will be available but for performance sake it is not as of this recording available for brushing so if you need to make large scale edits try to use those three tools or uh, periodically go back in and maybe massage uh, with auto snapping on, kind of massage with the brush tool your mesh into place. Okay, so let's go ahead and demonstrate this by using the pose tool. I'm going to select. Um, hmm. Let's choose this hind leg here. I'm going to use the line selection. Click and drag where I want the gradient fall off to be. And so it'll be solid the rest of the way. Okay, so I'm going to move the pivot point to the joint here. Okay. Okay, so with update retopo checked, I'm going to go ahead and make the transform. I'm going to rotate it backwards. All right, and now I'm going to reselect in the ankle area. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to the Move tool. And tweak this a bit further. Okay, so let's go on to our uh, retopology room and see how the retopo mesh held up. It did a almost flawless job. So now, if you want to save a particular mesh just for you know animation rigging, but at the same time save a different one so that you can pose, you can do all your posing in the uh, voxel sculpting room now. Uh, this really opens things up for you. So. Take it for a test drive, see what you think, and uh, thank you for watching.